His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa offered his sincere condolences and heartfelt sympathy to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the passing of His Highness Sheikh Tahnoun bin Mohammed Al Nahyan, the representative of the ruler in the Al Ain region at uh, Mushrif Palace in Abu Dhabi. He, uh, his Majesty the King, also extended his condolences and sympathy to the children of the deceased, his brothers, and Hayyan family, and the people of the United Arab Emirates, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased and eternal peace and grant an Hayyan family with patience and solace. His Majesty recalled the achievements and virtues of the deceased who was one of the loyal figures of the United Arab Emirates and a companion in the journey of His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Hayyan, commending his accomplishments, efforts and contributions in serving his country, society and the people of the United Arab Emirates. The President of the United Arab Emirates and the children of the deceased expressed their gratitude and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his heartfelt fraternal sentiments, sincere prayers and the embodiment of the deep-rooted and close fraternal relations that bind the two countries and their people. They pray to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty and, His Ma and bless Him with abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in the United Arab Emirates where he was received by UAE's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the ambassadors of both countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa departed Abu Dhabi returning safely to his homeland. His Majesty was bid farewell by His Highness the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior of the United Arab Emirates. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with King Charles III of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, head of the Commonwealth at the Kingdom of Bahrain's pavilion during the Royal Windsor Horse Show's endurance race held at the Windsor Great Park. The meeting took place on the sidelines of His Royal Highness's visit to the UK to attend the Royal Windsor Horse Show on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs and captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness. Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa was also present at the meeting. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad highlighted the long standing Bahrain UK relationship, which is based on a multi sectoral collaboration and strategic partnership that continues to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and King Charles III. His Royal Highness noted the Kingdom's commitment to furthering multi sector collaboration between the two kingdoms to meet mutual aspirations, including within the horse racing and equestrian sectors. His Royal Highness commended his 
His Highness Sheikh Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad on his participation along with his children in several international endurance races, wishing them success in promoting the Kingdom of Bahrain across all fields. His Royal Highnesses emphasize the Bahraini jockeys' participation in the international championship amongst the top racehorse jockeys in a great opportunity to showcase the Kingdom's talents and expertise in the sport. In this regard, His Royal Highness uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad outlined the Kingdom's ongoing development of the horse racing and equestrian sector, an integral part of Bahrain's cultural heritage. His Royal Highness expresses pride in the Kingdom's jockeys and their distinguished participation in regional and international championships or competitions. His Royal Highness noted the importance of the Royal Windsor Horse Show as a prestigious international equestrian competition that continues to witness strong turnout year after year from elite horses and jockeys. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, commended the United Kingdom's efforts in our organizing the event, which has led it uh, to become one of the oldest and most important races in the world of equestrian sport. His Royal Highness expressed thanks to the organizers of the event and wished them more continued success in future championships. His Royal Highness uh, the, uh, also viewed uh, the Royal Winter Endurance Race. His uh, Royal Highness also attended several competitions and displays at the Royal Windsor Horse Show held in the United Kingdom. The event was attended by His Majesty King Charles III of the United Kingdom of Great Britain, Britain and Northern Ireland and various international equestrian professionals. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad witnessed the uh, crowning of several winners from various races and competitions, congratulating the winners and wishing all competitors continued success in future events. A number of senior officials were also in attendance.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Commander of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated in the 80 kilometer race within the Windsor Equestrian Endurance Festival, which was held at Great Windsor Castle in the United Kingdom. This participation comes with the aim of enhancing the capabilities of His Highness's children in the race and uh, their sports as His Highness's children passed the stages successfully and competently. The leadership and directive and the directives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser constitute or constituted an important turning point on the journey of His Highness's children at the event where His Highness's children, Her Highness Sheikh Shema bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa raced successfully with determination and precision. His Highness uh, Sheikh Nasser congratulated the riders of the royal team on the occasion of winning uh, the titles of the 160 kilometer, 120 kilometer and 100 kilometer races. الحمد لله على كل حال طبعا نهدي هذا الفوز الغالي والثمين على سيدي جلاله الملك الله يطول عمره اللي هو تابعنا من الفجر الين ما خلصنا هذا السباق وبحضور سيدي سمو ولي العهد بعد اليوم كمل فرحتنا الحقيقه مع تواجد عده دول مشاركه اليوم في هذه البطوله منها دوله الامارات واسبانيا والاوروغواي والانجليز موجودين وكثير من الناس الموجوده اللي تشوف طبعا سباق وينزر وثقله وفي نفس الوقت اهميته لنا الحمد لله على كل حال شاركنا في أربعة سباقات وفزنا في الأربعة سباقات اليوم هذه المرحلة مرحلة بناء أبطال مرات أنا قررني أسابق ومرات أقررني أنا يعني أهدي السباق للفريق أقول لهم توكلوا على الله وأنا عندي ناس قاعد أهتم في بنائهم وتعليمهم في السباق اليوم أكملنا هذه المهمة خاصة يعني من ضمن هالأجواء اللي مرينا فيها اليوم بس هي اليوم كانت يعني بناء شخصية للعيال كنا نبي نشوف ثقتهم في نفسهم وكنا نمتحنهم في المراحل والحمد لله عدوا كل الاختبارات الحقيقه Bahrain's Royal Endurance team dominated the 100, 120, and 160 kilometer races at the Windsor Horse Festival in the UK, represented by the victorious and Al Road team, where they secured top positions with outstanding performances. Team director Dr. Khaled Ahmed Hassan dedicated this win to the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and thanked him for his support and highlighted the team's preparation and resilience despite challenging weather conditions. Under His Highness Sheikh Nasser's guidance, the victorious team claimed first place in the 160-kilometer race, led by rider Uthman Abdul Jalil Al Awadi and Al Rood team secured victory in the 120-kilometer race with rider Ahmed Khalid Ahmed Al Dawadi leading the charge. Victorious team rider Cecilia Garcia was also able to win first place in the 100-kilometer race.
The Bahrain Camel national team ranked second in the overall standings of the first Arab Camel Cup championship, which was held today in Al Ula Governorate in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Saudi team was able to win the first titles in the first Arab Camel Championship, while the Emirati team achieved third place. The president of the Arab Camel Federation, Prince Fahad bin Louis bin Abdul Aziz bin Msaad, crowned the delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain, headed by the vice chairman of the Bahraini Committee for Folklore Sports, Ali bin Mohammed Al Fadl Al Marri and members of the board of directors of the Bahraini Committee for Folklore Sports Camel National Team Manager Mohammed bin Ayyad al Adba al Mari with gold cups in the three rounds that our team won. The application period has ended for the 8th edition of the Prime Minister's Award for Journalism, which witnessed remarkable interaction by media figures. The award includes the addition of six new awards, bringing the total to 10 journalism awards, in addition to honoring the Journalist Personality of the Year and including digital content and journalism student projects in the competing categories. Since its launch in 2016, the award aims to celebrate journalists, honor them, and appreciate their great contributions, encourage creativity and excellence in creating Bahraini journalistic content, enhancing the the spirit of competition between media institutions to provide the best journalistic content, encourage young media competencies in journalism and media colleges and opening the way for them and diversifying creative and interactive digital content on newspaper websites and institutions accounts on social media networks. The awards committee will evaluate the participating works and select the winners in accordance with the criteria of the award. The main founding body of the United Arab Organization for Scientific Research announced the selection of the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel Asumi, as the Chairman of the Organization's Board of Directors. Adel Asumi expressed pleasure in this position and his pride of the trust placed in him. He stressed his intention to move with all members of the organization in the direction of achieving its goals, especially with regards to sustainable development, building the capabilities of the Arab citizens, and working to invest scientific research through the five sectors on which the organization is based on, which are the education, energy, food, medicine and tourism sectors.